It appears that America's 1985 cocaine bear, or the Pablo Escobar story, as it eventually came to be known, has found its march not too far away. Enter Brazil's cocaine sharks swimming in the waters around the coast of Brazil have been tested positive for cocaine. As bizarre as it may sound, it is true. Scientists have tested 13 Brazilian shark nose sharks taken from the waters off Rio de Janeiro. And well, all the 13 sharks had high levels of the recreational narcotic in their livers and muscles. Scientists now fear that it can reduce their life expectancy with cocaine damaging their eyesight and affecting their hunting skills. However, Pablo Escobar met a much worse fate in 1985. The 175-pound black bear passed away after overdosing on cocaine. It was dropped by a group of Colombian drug smugglers in the wilderness in Tennessee. On to the central question. How did the sharks end consuming cocaine in the first place? Some marine biologists opine that the drug likely came from Rio's sewerage system. They say that it may have come from illegal cocaine factories or from the excrement of drug users through untreated sewage. Meanwhile, some believe that the sharks were feeding on cocaine that was lost or abandoned in the sea by drug smugglers. Cocaine is as bad for sharks as it is for humans. It could lead to all kinds of problems, including infertility. Cocaine can disrupt the production of vitellogenin in shark livers, which forms the yolk in their eggs. Absence of yolk means no food for the embryonic baby shark. Furthermore, cocaine is not just harmful for sharks, but also other marine life. Now, according to the study published in the Science of the Total Environment Journal, Cocaine can be toxic to mollusks, crustaceans, and bony fish. Lab studies show that environmentally realistic concentrations can cause various signs of damage, including DNA fragmentation and cell death. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.